Before I started on the new logo, I had to peel off all the old lettering. If I could fly like birds on high, then straight to a run, I'd go sailing. It's far. This is the vinyl that I got for the new logo. I got dark blue, five foot by one foot, white, five foot by one foot, gray, five foot by two foot, and light blue, five foot by two foot. This is the logo that I came up with. We'll have the oval, light blue, with the gray oval behind it. The lettering is not gonna be black, it's gonna be dark blue, and possibly some white highlights or white trim. I made a few changes to the lettering just to make it a little more legible and easy to read. This is Audrey's real signature right here. I'm going to make some of the letters not quite touching and make the E a little bit more like an E and uh, change the A a little bit so it doesn't look so much like a star. The first thing I did was draw out all of the letters in a larger size on plain white paper. I made the A and the L about 8 inches tall and 8 inches wide, and I made all the rest of the letters about 4 inches by 4 inches. The Ys I made with a longer tail on them, those were about 6 inches long. After drawing all the letters on the white paper, I cut them all out. I then laid out all the letters backwards on the back side of the dark blue vinyl and traced around each letter. If I could fly like birds on high. I then cut the letters out of the dark blue vinyl. I then stuck the light blue vinyl, which I had cut into an oval shape, down to the gray vinyl, which I had also cut into an oval shape. Next, I attached the dark blue letters. I taped each letter in place to make sure it stayed put, and then peeled off the backing and stuck them down to the position that they're supposed to be in. And then, with Audrey's help, I stuck the whole finished logo on the back of the boat. and rename the boat. Normally we would be doing this when the boat is in the water, but today we can't do that. So we're just gonna do it in our driveway. Okay, so today we come to name this lady the Audrey Lynn and send her to sea to be cared for and to care of for the first mate Audrey and Captain Mark. We ask the sailors of the old and God to accept the Audrey Lynn as her name and to help her through her passages and allow her to return with her crew safe. Beyond the shore, we'll kiss just as before. Happy we'll be beyond the sea and never again. To the sailors before us and to the Audrey Land. Thank mm -hmm. you.